properties of rotated figures. So there's two other videos. There's properties of translated figures and properties of reflected figures. So now we're doing properties of rotated figures. So those three that I just listed, translate, reflect, rotate, those are three transformations on a coordinate grid, meaning how we can move an object without changing it. Translate means we move it right, left, up, or down. Reflect means that we take it, and I, I like to use my hands here because it's the easiest thing to do. Um, I pretend like there's a line right here, and I just flip it right over the line. I haven't changed anything. I just flipped the figure over. And then rotate literally means that we're going to turn something. Um, but these three things do not change the object. So when we decide over here, because we're going to rotate this, this figure 90 degrees clockwise, and then we just need to decide if these statements are true or false. Any of the statements that talk about it changing side lengths, angles not being the same, parallel sides not being the same, the figures themselves not being congruent, if we come up with any changes, we click false. We only click true if what the statement is saying is the, the first figure and the second figure are the same. So side lengths are the same, angles are the same, parallel lines, if they start a parallel, they're still parallel, and the entire figure should be congruent still all we're doing is rotating it. we're just turning it around a point so in here we see this little line tool and when we get in there I'll show you because it's a little easier on the next screen you click and then you just drag it around you just rotate it however far they tell you now this is saying 90 degrees clockwise we do need to pay attention to that so each turn if I start on this x-axis if I go down that's 90 degrees to the next line if I go to the next line that's 180 degrees if I go to the next line, that's 270 degrees, and then the next one's 360. So each one of those full tur turns is a 90 degree turn. And then we need to pay attention to clockwise. Clockwise goes with a clock. Counterclockwise goes backwards on a clock. So just make sure you're paying attention to those words when you turn it, because otherwise it will mark you wrong. Um, and then we just go through and we decide. Again, if the statement talks about it being changed we click false if it's the same we click true so let's go ahead and try this out so i can actually show you the rotation tool in here so it says rotate the figure 270 degrees counterclockwise that tells me i'm going to go backwards on the clock okay so i'm going to click this if you notice at first it was a finger and now my i'm not holding i clicked it and then it turned into this little grab thing so i can let go of the cursor and now i can move this around so i'm going to move it here's 90 Here's 180, here's 270, and I'm going counterclockwise, and I click. There you go. There's my 270 counterclockwise. So I rotated this figure around backwards on the clock, 270 degrees. Remember, it goes 90, 180, 270, 360. Each full turn is 90 degrees. And then I oh, make sure you click again once you get to the position you want. Otherwise, it'll keep dragging it around. Um, and it probably won't let you submit it or it'll warn you because you haven't actually clicked um, and submitted your, your spot. If two sides are parallel in the original figure, then those sides may not be parallel. So may not, that sounds like I changed something. False. The final side lengths are the same as the original. That's true. The same. We want it to be the same. The final angles measures are smaller than the original. That is always false. Even when we get into dilation, which we've done a couple of videos on dilation, but once we get into to the dilated properties, the angles always stay the same. There's actually, I hope I can find a, a cool video about how you can see that the dilated images are the same. Um, so the original figure and the final figure may not be congruent. Oh, that's false. They are congruent. So may not tends to be a, an indicator on this whenever we're doing the properties of one of these may not tends to be a false. Now, when, if we do end up doing dilation, that may be true. So we'll, we'll get there. All right, perfect. Let's do the next one here. So rotate the figure 180 degrees clockwise about the origin and then decide if these are true or false. So I'm gonna click and it said clockwise. So I'm gonna go with the clock this way. So I'm gonna go 180 degrees. So I have 90. And then I have 180. And I want to make sure I go all the way. So we want that line to be lined up nice and straight. If you stop before the 180 mark, it's going to mark you wrong. 
when you go to submit it. So, and if you notice my arrow is going this direction, so you can see the arrow here is going clockwise. Want to make sure that it's going clockwise and not counter. We don't want to go backwards. Now I would land in the same place because 180 actually you land it in the same place no matter which way you go. But I would have got I they would mark me wrong because they told me to go clockwise. So it has to do with the arrow on that one. So just follow directions. All right. Find the final, sorry, the final side lengths are longer. Oh, I hear longer. That's a change. So nope. The final angle measures are larger. Oh, there's another change. Nope. The final, the original figure and the final figure are congruent. Oh, that's true. That means we haven't changed anything. We just moved it. If two sides are parallel in the original figure, then those sides may not be parallel in the final figure. Well, if they started parallel and all we did was turn it around, those two sides should still be parallel. So that's a false. Okay, one more. Do, 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 do. All right, rotate the figure 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin and then decide if these statements are true or false. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it 90 degrees. So 90 is only one turn. So I went from the x axis to the y axis and then I stopped and I went counterclockwise. I went backwards on the clock. Fine. So the final angle measures are the same as the original. That's true. The same. That's what we want to hear. The final side lengths are shorter. Oops. Shorter makes it sound like we changed it. We didn't change anything. The final figure and the final, sorry, the original figure and the final figure may not be congruent. Well, may not. That's not true when we're talking about our three um, first transformations. So translate, rotate, reflect. The figures are congruent. So, oop, false, not true. If two sides are parallel in the original figure, then those sides may not be parallel in the final figure. We just talked about this on the last one. If they started parallel and we just turned it, those two sides should still be parallel. So that's a false. All right, we finished another one. Yay.